Millions of Americans deal with the threat of eviction each day. Home prices jumped nearly 20% year over year in February. Rental prices have soared too, creating what analysts have described as a national housing crisis. I don't even want to ever... This is so humiliating. Erin McCarroll is a mother of three. In the fight of her life, she says, battling breast cancer. She has not one, but four surgeries on the way. Here, there you go. That's emergencies. She also faces eviction. No, it's like helpless. It's like being drowning and you're like holding your hands up for air, but you can't get it. It's that bad. McCarroll lives in Orange County, just south of Los Angeles. It's one of the hottest, most expensive real estate markets in the country. McCarroll says rent for her one-bedroom apartment just went up from $2,600 a month to $2,800. She tells us the bump is now too much to afford with all of these, too. Medical bills piling up that have just made the situation so much worse. Yeah. Rents, unfortunately, will continue to rise. Richard Green at the University of Southern California studies housing markets around the world and says he doesn't see a crash that could spell relief for millions like Aaron in the near future. I don't see where a crash comes from. Could you see a small decline? Sure. 5%? Sure. Um, if interest rates keep rising, sure. For real estate broker Juan Wezar, the crisis of sky-high prices is profoundly personal. And we're inside one of the units, four-bedroom, two-bath, very large. Wezar remembers coming to California from Mexico 38 years ago, cramming into a single home with multiple families. He says the heart of today's problem... There's simply not enough inventory. So if one house hits the market, there's 30 qualified buyers to buy it. Green says there aren't enough rentals either. More empty units pushes prices down. But that's difficult to change here in Los Angeles. The number one thing is here we have one of the biggest cities in the world and in the vast majority of it, you can only build single family houses. That is the number one problem. That brings us to this spot in LA, where there used to be one home, now there are 13. I see multiple families living here. I see families having grandma come live with them. Green says he's more optimistic than he's been in five years that places like Houston, Minneapolis, Washington State, Oregon, and California are finally getting serious and taking real steps to build more affordable housing. I think these things are helpful, but they're not going to help immediately. That gives Erin McCarroll little solace. A religious charity paid her back rent hours after our interview. But for next month's rent, she still doesn't know what she'll do or where she'll go if she receives another eviction notice. I don't have a place to go. I don't. I don't.